Okay, so welcome to Tea in a Good Book, and today I am reviewing two different things. Um, one is actually in the physical world right now, and that is the Tivana Spiced Apple Cider Tea, which is almost ready. And then the other one is an audiobook that I listened to called Unsold. I am actually on, I think, the uh, eighth book, maybe the ninth one, maybe the seventh one, um, which is Winter Steel. And the actual series is still going. So Unsold is a book by Will White, and it follows our main character, whose name is Weishi Linden. Now, Linden was born into a clan who live in Sacred Valley. Now, he was born weak and unable to perform sacred arts, which is basically taking the magic or madra running through their bodies. So they basically take the magic or madra running through their veins and specialize it to become sword madra, which they've got different paths. Like you could take the path of the sword sage or something like that. So, um, Lyndon is really adamant about the fact that he wants to become a sacred artist, but he can't because he is so weak that he cannot even advance to copper, which is the lowest level that a sacred artist can be. So, his school, the school of sacred arts in his area, along with a few other schools, actually start to hold a competition. And this is a competition between the different schools, and Lenzen's just kind of like, well, I'm not going to be able to join, so I don't care. But one of the schools decides to cheat. And that is when one of the people actually controlling the universe, named Surreal, comes down from her place, and she actually just kind of eliminates the cheaters, basically. Like, wipes them out. So, while Serial is actually there, she shows Lyndon his future. And in his future, there is a girl who is supposed to help him get out of Sacred Valley and become a sacred artist. So, we follow Lyndon as he tries to find this girl. And he does. He finds Yaren. And... Yaren is actually on the path of the Sword Sage, so I did use her path as an example earlier. So Yaren and Linden go on this path of trying to help Linden advance without something like a fruit that will help him advance or make him stronger. It's an interesting fantasy-esque book. It's... You can tell he's put a lot of work, Will White that is, has put a lot of work into creating these books because everything about it is very much able to transport you into another world, which is something that I like in a book. So I definitely recommend the book, especially for people who enjoy Harry Potter or The Inheritance Cycle. So this is the apple cider tea from Tivana, who actually... They are owned by Starbucks now. It's really, really good. It's, it reminds me of a tea that I cannot remember that Tivana used to sell because they used to do like samples in their store. This one is uh, spiced apple cider. It's got cinnamon and cloves in it, which are actually pretty predominant. I did have it with an apple one time on camera. It was one of the videos that we made out on our screen porch while our floors were being done. And I think it definitely has a much more apple cider-esque taste if you just like use it as a dipping sauce almost for apples. But on its own, it's kind of sweet, but not in a crazy way. The ingredients, if I can find them. You are supposed to brew it at 205. I brewed it at 203. There's not much difference. And you are supposed to steep it for five minutes. Cinnamon, rooibos, chicory root, ginger, honey bush, apple pieces, 
natural flavor, and cloves. So, it's not the shortest ingredient list ever. I've had teas that were one ingredient. But compared to some teas that claim to be something like apple cider or apple, just in general, this is a pretty good, simple ingredient list. So this tea, I would recommend it to people who are sugar addicts, <laughs> which actually most people are sugar addicts, actually. Um, but I got this tea a while back, and I've been drinking it sporadically. It's good. Um, I think I definitely would have gotten into tea a lot earlier if I had had this tea about a year before I did, two years, three years before I did, because I used to love sugar, like just sugar in general. I would lick sugar off of my fingers. I would not do that now. Until next time, like and subscribe down below. Um, while you're there, comment if you've ever had tea bon a tea before. And until next time, make sure to make time for tea in a good book.